Welcome everyone, Questini here on Serious Gaming. YouTuber, streamer, Total Biscuit, who had a fairly significant influence in both the gaming industry and with the gaming media at the end of the day, has passed away. Uh, he did so because of complications with cancer. I believe it started as colon cancer, then it spread to his liver, and it ended up killing him. He was diagnosed with terminal cancer in October of 2015 and fought for a good amount of time. Uh, to, uh, to stay alive until uh, recently in April he um, in, in late April that his chemotherapy stopped working his liver was failing and now uh, he has passed away well uh, for me um, and many other people that have watched Total Biscuit over the years and he started in 2010 when uh, you know a lot of YouTubers were rising um, for me and many people that had watched his content it does feel like a body blow it feels like uh, you've been hit over the face with a sledgehammer because it's you know it's one thing to have someone famous that you've watched for many years die after a long and fulfilling life like say think of Christopher Lee Alan Rickman to an extent um, but it's another thing completely for someone that's just over 30 years old to die when they've got when they could have done so much more in their lives, so that is a real tra tragedy. And my condolences, obviously, to his uh, family who are struggling uh, as a result of uh, the loss of a loved one. And I do feel there is a particular Reddit post that encapsulates how I feel to an extent, and how many other people feel about this. And I, I just want to quote this so it doesn't get lost, because it will, uh, obviously, eventually, that's how Reddit works, uh, from Cynical Brit. This hits me a lot harder than I thought it would. I've never really cared when celebrities pass away, yet I am distraught over the passing of a moderately famous man I have never ever met in a country I have never ever visit. I have never visited. It probably has something to do with respect. I've looked up uh, to John's integrity and sense of right for more than 10 years. I frequently disagreed with him and even gotten frustrated with him, but I have never felt as though he was unjustified in his opinions and beliefs. He was a good person. Jenna Ryan, my heart is with you. This is from uh, Lime Jet on Reddit. And I just felt that post uh, deserved uh, some attention because uh, although I don't agree with that completely, I do feel uh, the sentiment in that particular post is one I fully agree with. Because uh, people are closer to YouTubers or streamers, you know, people who you watch for many years, people whose thoughts you listen to, their real thoughts, not some scripted stuff on TV or on the big screen. Uh, and so for someone like Total Biscuit to pass away does hit uh, harder than an actor or some other famous person. Um, for my money, as someone who started watching Total Biscuit because of his World of Warcraft videos uh, in 2010, I would say that it, it yeah, as as I said before, it does feel uh, feel like being hit over the face with a with a sledgehammer. I mean, for me as a YouTuber, he did influence me and many other people in a significant way, you, and he did influence quite a few people and the gaming industry as well as the gaming media in a fairly significant way, more so I feel with the gaming industry than the game media, but then again, the media is very resistant to change. I mean, what did he accomplish, one might ask? Well, simple answer is this. His continue, continued advocacy for the consumer did help a great deal with some of the horrible uh, business practices we saw for many years within the gaming industry. I mean, things have been better of late, but it's because better because of people like the Total Biscuit who did raise their voice, who did have a substantial following, who were not just willing to accept business as usual. Uh, one of the more significant points in this, of course, is his continued advocacy for better PC ports um, in, in the sense, you know, FOV slider, 60 FPS, better options menu, and just better business practices across the board. And that did have an influence, you know, you know a lot of Ver uh, PC games from developers that usually didn't care now are pretty good. And when it comes to uh, to the PC, I'd say the biggest um, 
influence the the biggest legacy one could say he left behind is dark souls on pc because the way that worked is people were asking for it namco bandai will do a petition and there was a petition and when that petition occurred total biscuit was one of those people with a substantial following that did raise attention to it and did make it happen so having Dark Souls on PC, of course, opened the floodgates, even though it was a horrible version, opened the floodgates for a lot of other games to come on PC that traditionally have been made. So you have Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, and then, of course, you have the Metal Gear uh, Metal Gear uh, Solid 5, the Phantom Pain on PC. And that is uh, fairly substantial. And now, obviously, a lot of his legacy comes down to how he influenced people behind closed doors, you know, in the gaming industry, people he talked to, he knew quite a, pe- a few people within the gaming industry, and he did have a fairly a big impact as a result of that. Like, there is a reason why Twitch, Twitch has on their Twitter a message honoring him. There's a reason for that. There's a reason Blizzard released a message on this subject. So, um, it is a real uh, tragic loss to for someone like Total Biscuit to pass away at such a young age. Beyond that, beyond that, uh, the gaming media, Be- and this is, of course, to an extent, but not completely because it goes beyond that, but to an extent, obviously, related to Gamergate in the sense, you know, for all the things that have been said about Gamergate, a big part of the reason why Gamergate ended up so big is because a lot of people did rightly view the gaming media as deeply corrupt and chummy with game developers and unwilling to confront them and stand up to them. And that's one of the reasons why um, Gamergate exploded in such a fashion. And, you know, while so many in the gaming media and quite a few YouTubers and also the mainstream media, most importantly, were smashing gamers left and right, you had people like Total Biscuit pointing out that, yeah, there is quite a very valid argument to be made against the gaming media and the way it operates. And guess what? It did work. It did succeed in changing the way the gaming media does work to an extent obviously there's limits but there was an impact a fairly substantial one at the end of the day the reality is we live in a world where youtubers and streamers exist and have this kind of influence because the mainstream media the traditional media outlets are no longer trusted by people and total biscuit was one of those people with a very strong following with a powerful voice who could present an argument in a very rational way um, that was pointing out just how bad the media is. Now, obviously, the media has continuously resisted to uh, to that, uh, not being able to fully understand just what people really hate about them. It's obviously the bias. And, of course, this is a major problem in the world today, not just the gaming media, obviously, not just the gaming media, but the mainstream media. Uh, the way people view it, the way people respect or lack thereof, is a major problem around the world. They need to do better. So having someone like Total Biscuit, who was widely respected by a very large number of people, um, speak out on that at the same time that you know you had uh, the whole gaming gamers are then nonsense. Um, that, that did matter in a fairly substantial way. Now, for me, personally, for for me, the impact was his mailbox series. I mean, I did start watching him with his World of Warcraft videos. I was a WoW player, and Total Biscuit was extremely popular um, back then uh, in Cataclysm when Cataclysm was coming up for a lot of WoW players. He was looking at the content, and that's obviously quite a, what a lot of people were interested in when it came to Cataclysm, including myself. I had quit World of Warcraft in early wrath, I came back for the sake of Cataclysm, so obviously I was interested in watching his content. But that's not what really influenced me. I am a YouTuber. I also stream from time to time. What really influenced me is his mailbox series because he was being asked questions by his viewers and he was being asked about life, about the gaming industry, about YouTube and all that. And the answers he gave to a lot of those questions were very informative and did help um, quite a lot of us trying to struggle uh, on YouTube, trying to struggle as streamers as well. Uh, And very informative about how the gaming industry works as well, in general. So 
he will be sorely missed. Uh, and it, I do f- think it is a crying shame that someone like that would die just over the age of 30. I mean, he did accomplish quite a lot for someone uh, at that age. And I feel he could have accomplished a great deal more. Uh, and uh, he will be missed. Costine here on Serious Gaming signing out. Thank you all for watching and stay tuned for more.